Hello everyone, I just wanted to make this quick video here. Uh, this is R6 Extraction. This is only the, uh, trial version right here, so... Um, I only have a few minutes to show you everything, but I'm just gonna briefly go over, uh, what's in this game. And what you can see. So as you can see here, this is just the main menu. Quick Play, Ubisoft Connect, Challenges. These two, these aren't really important. This one you need to sign up for Ubisoft Connect. And these are part of Ubisoft Connect. And I'm not sure what these are just yet. I've only played this for an hour because that's as long as the trial is. So I'm just sharing what I know or from what I've experienced. And this is just the menu. I'll probably make another video when I hopefully do get the actual game. And I'll show you like different monsters and whatnot. But this is the menu. That's where you're gonna be doing most of your stuff. Uh, this right here is uh, your play area. As you can see, there's different type of things. Uh, you can see there's different zones. So New York City, San Francisco, San Francisco, Alaska. Or truth or consequences. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing it's like a type of mission. Well, obviously it is. And as you can see, there's milestones. Those are kind of just like leveling up. Every time when you level up, it's like a le milestone. So yeah, uh, when you start off, you only get New York City. And as you level up, you get more and more areas to explore. Operators are pretty self-explanatory. So as you can see, uh, they have health, as you can see here. As you can see, this person right here, Finca, um, has only 46 out of 100. That's because I used her. I'm pretty sure after every match you play, uh, operators in your roster actually gain health. And if they're low on health, so like this guy, he's at zero, Vigil. Um, he's inactive, but the more matches I play, he will, you know, get his health back until he is active. I think they have to have more than 25 health in order to be active. So, these are the starting characters you can get. You can get Doc with his health, sh health shots. Ella with her Gersmont Mines. Pulse with his Cardiac Sensor. Alibi with her Prisma. Which is kind of just a decoy that enemies will attack. Finka with her adrenaline boost. Uh, Hibana with her, I guess, grenade launcher that kind of just blows walls up. Lion with his uh, drone that can scan enemies moving. And Sledge with his tactical hammer. Oh, also Vigil. It's power, sorry. Makes him invisible to enemies. So he's a lot more useful than he is in actual Rainbow Six. And then as you can see here, some of these guys have milestones. So as you can see, the backbone, milestone 5. The strong arm, milestone 10. And then milestone 17. So, and then the architects, which are milestone 17. So... These are the ones you can get. So for the backbone, you have IQ, Jagger, J Jagger, Rook, Fuse, and S Smoke. Oh, sorry. For the backbone, you have IQ, Jagger, and Rook. For the strong arm, you have Fuse, Smoke, and Tachanka. And for the architects, you have Kepitao, Gridlock, and Nomad. So those are all the guys you're gonna be using. Obviously, some of them have iconic weapons, like um, as you can see here. Um, Finca actually has an assault rifle, um, an, a shotgun, and an LMG. But as you can see, she also has one more weapon that she can actually get, which hers is an SMG. But most uh, operators now have another primary on top of the ones they have. So as you can see, Doc, in Rainbow Six Siege, he's only got SM two SMGs and a shotgun, but this one, he actually has an assault rifle. 
And the list goes on and on. So the weapons no one can for are randomized. Just well, not randomized, but you get the point. They get one more primary that you can choose from. And uh, that each guy actually comes with um, headgears they can automatically switch to, so you can have standard issue and night issue. And uh, advancements. So. These you can get while you're leveling up. These can give you more weapons, uh, upgrades to your character, upgrades to your ability. Um, yeah, it's basically it. And every time when you level up, you have a chance you can get, as you can see in the right there, you can actually get uh, different types of clothing. Uh, not very important, but... Basically, you'd only be leveling up a character for their ability because you can actually die pretty easy in this game I'll probably get to that in the gameplay video But um Hold on, okay, I got six minutes to try to show you but yeah, so basically uh, how you level one up is well it's easy you just play matches with them and You level them up um, I will say, so if you die, I will say this before I get into a gameplay video, um, when I do get the full game, but, um, if you die and you get put into that, like, foam thing, um, you can try to rescue yourself by either selecting the mission and level and do it by yourself or have a random chance to be on that level with other people. And if you fail to save them, they'll actually come back to your roster, but they'll actually lose XP. So if you save them, they'll keep their XP and you have them back. But if you don't save them, they'll just come back automatically and lose XP. Uh, the only way you can prevent this is if your guy's level 10. S progression... Uh, I'm actually not sure what this is. I think this is just for, like, bonus challenges for, like, um, well, react tokens, entries, or whatnot. Even with the data we've collected, there's still so much um, a mystery. I guess you can also get clothing for these, too, which is cool. Um, tech, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can, you can get tech points. I think it's, you get one for each time you level up. And as you can see, there's different types of uh, tech. So there's body armor, revive kit, scan mine, impact grenade, and these are just like the basic ones, really. Uh, the more, the further you get, the more advanced they get. So like a field wall, an XR recon drone, which automatically scans targets, uh, explosive harness, um, and the final one you can get uh, is actually the react laser, which I'm pretty sure. Most people, if you've seen the trailer, have seen it, but it's basically just a laser that you can attach to your guns, and yeah, it just makes those goop things disappear. The codex kind of just tells you, like, news and whatnot. Well, not really. It's kind of just, like, the story so far about operators, protocols, basically whatever. And then the purchase tab. For me, um, I'm pretty sure this is only in the trial version because obviously you don't have the full game. So, I think that's only for them. But, I'm pretty sure if it was for the full game, I'm not 100% sure yet. I think it might actually be for like buying like, I don't know, skins for operators for money. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of went over that pretty quick. I might actually redo this video if I get the full game and I have more characters and I have infinite amount of playtime. So I can show you. But for now, that's basically it. Um, sorry if this video was so quick. Sorry I hadn't post in a tiny bit. And... Who knows? I will might make a video tomorrow. I'll see. I'll probably make one on Thatcher. Which I said I was going to do for my next video. But obviously this was my next video from that video. 
And I just wanted to show you guys before my trial did run out uh, what this game- Give you a rough understanding what this game was. So I do hope you guys enjoyed well, this short little video. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, goodbye.